say distinguished me as a sinister person. Why do you think that is? I suppose it's because the face. It's uh, my wife describes it as a relief map of Afghanistan. Uh, uh, sort of not the pretty type, I guess. Lasted about 14 years. I uh, was fortunate or unfortunate enough not to hit what we call the big time until about five years ago. Consequently, I've done about a film a year since that time. Uh, tried to be a little selective and uh, have been very lucky to work with good people in good films. Shepherdon Studios, just outside London, where we finished Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, Peter Sellers. Would you tell us what it's about? <laughs> it is. It's a unique film, and one that I think is going to be uh, uh, controversial and provocative. marvelous thing to have. It's a dreadful thing to be without. Uh, it's nice to work and get paid for it. Get paid a lot for it if you can. It's also nice, if you can, to do things that you uh, ordinarily wouldn't have an opportunity to, perhaps to do. Uh, certainly, an example, uh, playing before 2,300 people in Central Park, a live audience, under the stars um, is an interesting and uh, rewarding experience. I think uh, it's a shame that more actors can't have it. Is the subject matter controversial? I, um, as I say, I think it's going to be one of the talked about pictures, uh, not just of this year, but of many years to come. It's bad, Mr. Scott, to see you smoking, but uh, you possibly have Yes, I uh, yeah. just have to have one on me. Here you are. Dr. Strangelove, or how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. You always talk that way. Well, uh, no, this is my ordinary act. I always talk like that. Yeah, that's... that's yeah, yeah. You're playing three different people, I believe. Like in Lolita? Well, the thing is, in Lolita, they weren't really three different parts. They were Claire Quilty impersonating different people. the president of the United States of America, that is this makeup I have on here. I play Dr. Strangelove, he's a German a nuclear physicist, and I play a British um, Royal Air Force, as they call it, officer, um, uh, group Captain Mandarin. I like English dialogues. Which one do you prefer, Mr. Summers? Well, what sort of English would you like? I mean, would you like uh, the, the sounds around London or the sounds around the, uh, up north or south or... Can you give us some examples? Yeah, well, well, if you want to talk about London, you've got to start off around here with the old cock, you see. Uh, I'll give you a bit of the old grip on that, and it's all down at all, and very nice. Uh, I don't know, they will not understand a word I'm talking about, obviously, on this show. But then uh, from there we go, you see, with more of the London accent, which is something like that, you know, which is not quite so. And then we can do quite a different sort of thing, you know, when you go out of the area and you get into more of the uh, slightly intellectual approach to life. And then you get slightly more, you know, when you get that type of slightly pimply individuals who have that mode of talking, you know, that. Then, of course, we have the other sorts of men who live in the right and uh, The other sort of those who see another part of London, they talk like that. It's very nice, lovely. You go out of London, you go out of Scotland, there's two types of actions. Well, there's many types of actions in Scotland. One is Glasgow accent and there's Edinburgh accent, which is much more of this way, you know, the Edinburgh talk. Uh, well, you know, and then we've Birmingham accents. Uh, oh, they just... The one that's, I think, nearest to American accent is where they talk down in, uh, in Cornwall and Devonshire, which is much more of a burr, and they talk very much like that. And, you know, it could be, you know, as a, as a radio commentator over here called John Ireland, and I reckon sometimes that you could really, I think, mistake him for one or two of the American commentators. You know, okay. How long have you been acting, Mr. Yes, I 
Thank you. 